Okay, hello and good morning. We're in week five, as you know, and we're starting uh, this new section, which I think was 2.3. So let's take a look here. Um, today's work is Tuesday, so that should be right here. And make sure you have week five and turn this in at the end of the marking period. The triangle of thumb, uh, sum theorem, not thumb theorem, but sum theorem, it says that the sum of the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So x plus y plus z is equal to 180 degrees. That is the triangle sum theorem. This one right here, theorem is something you can prove. A postulate is maybe uh, you accept. without proof. Every line measures 180 degrees. Let's take a look at these two right here. So watch carefully. Well, here's a line right here. Now, if you look, this is called an exterior angle. There's a formula that says the exterior angle is equal to two remotes. This angle is not a remote angle, it's an adjacent angle, it's right next to it. This is called remote and remote. So the formula that I didn't teach you yesterday was the exterior angle is equal to the remote plus the remote. And then you subtract and you get 100 and that's your answer. The way I taught you yesterday was that every line is worth 180 degrees. So the first thing I said was supplementary. So this would be 60 degrees. And then you would say 20 plus X plus 60 is equal to 180 degrees, which is a triangle. This is 80. So you would have X plus 80 is equal to 180. And then you would subtract 80 and get x is equal to 100. So either way you do it, there it is. But you should know the exterior angle theorem. Again, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remotes. Okay? Well, let's take a look at this one here. The way you transition from this triangle to that triangle is first, you've got to find this angle. So put a y right here. And I want to see your equations today. So put y plus 20 plus 30 is equal to 180 degrees, which is a triangle. This is 50, so you're going to subtract 50 and get x equals 130 degrees. And by vertical angles, this one is 130 degrees. So now you're going to have a second equation here. So the transition from this angle or triangle to that one is vertical angles. So now you're going to say x plus 40 plus 130 is equal to 180 degrees. So two equations for this one. This looks like 170, so you're going to subtract 170 and get x equals 10 degrees. And that's your answer. Okay? So today I want to see your equations. On a new sheet of paper, copy this one down. And I want you to try this one. Slide it up just a little bit more. Okay, so try this problem right here. All right, so the way I would do it is first, this angle is 90 degrees. Okay, that whole angle. So I would figure out this right here first. So put x here. So x plus 80 plus 30 is equal to 180 degrees. This is 110, so I'm going to subtract 110 and get x is equal to 70. So this angle is 70 degrees. If this whole thing is 90, then this angle on this side right here has to be 20. So now I can use this triangle and get x, okay? All right, maybe I should have called this one y. All right, in any event, the equation that I want to see is 80 plus 20 plus x, add up these three, 
is equal to 180 degrees. So again, on today's work, I want you to show the equations. So you're going to subtract 100 and get x equals 80, and that's your answer. All right? So the transition from this triangle to that triangle was due to this right angle. So it's kind of tricky, but that's the way you do it. All right? So let's keep moving. I want you to try another one. And this is on your worksheet for today. So let me make this bigger. All right, so let's take a look at this one here, and I'm going to make it a little more clear. All right, so I want you to try number 15. Draw the diagram first, and try number 15. This will be the last one I do, and then I'll give you the worksheet. All right, so let's take a look at this one on number 15. The first thing I would do, or the first thing that I see is, this right here is a vertical angle. So I would go ahead and put 45 degrees right here. These two are equal. Okay, let me see what else. Um, <clears throat> let me think here. So we're looking for this angle here, so put an X right here. That's an exterior angle. Now, if we can figure out this angle, which is y, we can subtract from 100, 180 degrees. Because every line is 180 degrees. But let's see how we're going to do that. All right, I think I see it now. So this one we're going to call z. So this triangle here is going to be 180 minus 45 minus 60. That is 105, so this one has to be 75 degrees if you use your calculator on that. We know that every line is 180. So to get this one right here, which I'm going to call M, just a different variable, you're going to subtract from 180 again because every line is equal to 180. So you're going to take 180 minus 75 minus 68. And when you do that, go ahead and work that right there. So when I do that, let's see what I get. So I get 180 minus 75 minus 68, and I get 37. So this angle M is 37 degrees. Now we know that every triangle is 180, so we're going to take 180 minus 37 minus 100, and that's going to give me y. So y is 43. And now we know that this line is 180, so it's going to be minus 180. We're going to change that to a plus. We get 137, and that's how you work this problem. So you got to be tricky and move stuff around on this worksheet. Okay, that takes care of geometry. Let's turn our attention now to MCR. So here, and if you're in geometry, you don't want to do the MCR lesson, obviously, right? I mean, you can if you want to. All right, so now we're on MCR. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at these two problems right here. Okay, so work those two problems. This right here is week five. And today is 914, so that goes in the middle. All right, you had both of these on your uh, work yesterday. So what would I do? Well, I would multiply seven times three and get 21x. When you multiply this one by seven, the sevens cancel, so you get minus two. 
this is going to be a minus 10x. And when you multiply this one, the fives cancel, but a negative times a negative is going to be a positive 3 plus x. And let me just look over it and make sure I got this right. And that's a good idea for you as well. So pause, take a look at it, make sure everything looks right. And everything actually does look right. All right, so at this point, I would add up my x's. So that one and that one makes 22 minus 10. Well, 22 minus 10 is going to be 12x. And then this one and this one is going to be plus 1. And that's what I'm going to go with. Now, you should always double check it, but that looks good to me. Let's go to the next one. This one right here, I would multiply everything by 6. All right. So when you put a 6 here, it's going to cancel with this one. When you put a 6 here, it's going to be 12. So let's distribute. So I'm going to get 2x minus 2. And then 6 right here is going to give me minus 12. When you put a 6 right here, it's going to cancel with that one. And you're going to be left with x minus 2. Now step back. Take a good look at it. Make sure you're okay with it. So I'm going to get 2x minus 14 here is equal to x minus 2. I'm going to subtract x from both sides and get x. And then I'm going to add 14 to both sides. And when I do, I get 12. Now let me just check my signs here and make sure I'm right. All right, so right here, a negative times a negative. Um, well, we're actually on this one, so let me just double check. x minus 2. I mean, I guess that looks good. So minus 2. We got rid of the x, and then we added 14. So I'm going to go with 12. If you want to check it, you can. Um, you'd have to plug it in here and here. Okay, and again, before I go on, let me just give it one more quick check. So that 6 cancels. That gives me 12. The 6 cancels. I get x minus 2. It looks good. All right, try these three right here on a new sheet of paper. Put section 2.4. This is called literal equations. Well, in order to make this work, you would have to divide by 3 to cancel that out and get x equals x. For this one, you'd have to divide by negative a to get the a's and the negatives to get y equals y. For this one, you'd have to, that's an s, by the way, or a 5, it doesn't matter. So when you put the s, it cancels and you get y equals y. These are called literal equations, and here's what we're going to do today, so pay attention, okay? This right here might be one of the most important things that I teach you, okay? It can also be the most challenging, but it's also the most rewarding. So let's take a look. We're trying to get h by itself. Okay, and here is the h. So let's circle it. All right? And they're going to tell you which one to get by itself. So draw a line. You see how you're dividing by 2? The first thing I would do is multiply by 2 to get rid of it. So I'm going to get 2a is equal to b1 plus b2 times h. And then all you have to do is divide everything by B1 plus B2. And you're done. Now, if you become a nurse, you're going to have to know how to solve equations. An engineer. Okay, a chemist. Or possibly anything else. So look here. Draw a line. They want you to get L, so circle the L. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of the 2W. So put minus 2W. You work it the same way you would do an equation. And now I'm going to divide by 2, and I'm done. Do not try to cancel that 2 with that 2, because if you do, you're going to leave the P out. So just leave it like that. You could write your answer as P over 2 minus 2W over 2, and then cancel the 2 and get P over 2 minus W. It's good that you know how to simplify it a little bit more. But either one of these is okay. <clears throat> okay, one more. Draw a line. You're dividing by 3, so the first thing I would do is multiply by 3. So I get 3V is equal to B times H. And then all you do is divide by, by B 
and you're done. So H is equal to this. That's your answer. One more. This one right here, you're trying to get V, but V is on the bottom. So you could put a 1 under here and make it a proportion, cross multiply. So you're going to get M times V times P is equal to 1 times RT, which is just RT. Now you divide by MP. M's cancel and you're done. Really simple. Cross multiply and reduce. Here's your assignment for today. If you get stuck, ask. Okay, make sure you ask questions. I expect them today. All right, so have a good morning.